yard taking on a large supply of coal. That's the third load of coal you've had today, Gordon, said James. Gordon, important engines need plenty of coal, but I doubt if you would understand that, James. James snorted and went about his work. First James, now you, Duck. Big engines have big needs. Little engines are just annoying. Don't say I didn't warn you, laughed Duck. Out at the big station. That's what I need, exclaimed Gordon. There, emerging out of the sheds, were two shiny tenders. Now, if I had two tenders, said Gordon, I wouldn't need to stop so often. Diesel sidled up alongside. Everyone knows that tenders are a mark of distinction, but I'm afraid that no amount of tenders will save you in the end. We diesels are taking over, and we don't need tenders to make us important. Not even one. Feel a different engine. Your boiler must be full of sludge. Cheer up, Gordon, said Sir Topham Hatt. I can't, sir. Is it true what Diesel says, sir? What does he say? That diesels are taking over. Because he lives on a railway with long distances between coaling depots. Gordon felt better. But Henry started complaining. He banged some cars angrily. I always work hard enough for two, he puffed. I deserve another tender. It honor continued duck thoughtfully, but I'm only a tank engine. Perhaps James might... I'm sorry, I was... Mm -hmm. Hastily. How many tenders have you? And when could I have them? Uh, hmm. I have six, and you can have them. Henry was excited all day. Do you think it will be all right? He asked for the umpteenth time. Of course, said Duck. They're all ready now. The other engines were completed where they could. But Henry wasn't a splendid sight at all. His six tenders were very old, dirty, and filled with boiler sludge. Had a good washout, Henry, called a voice. That's right. You'll feel a different engine now. Henry was not sure, but he thought the voice belonged to Gordon.